Hi again internet, this week's video will focus on sharpening your knife left handed uh, because next week is going to be the preliminary scrape and it's very very important that you have a sharp knife for it. So I'm just going to take you through my process. I know there are lots of different knife sharpening techniques and um, if I look like I'm doing anything wrong or if I could do something better to achieve a sharper knife then please let me know in the comments or in the response video. Thank you! Here we go. Okay, so first I'll tell you about my knife. This is a Churugi double hollow ground blade that I got from Double or Nothing Greets a couple of years ago. And I really like the handle because of all the pretty colors, of course, and I like the flat handle. It just makes it easier for me to grab. Now, this is a ceramic stone. I know the most popular and the best stone to use is a diamond stone, but this is what we have in the read room that we can use as students. So it's what I use. Okay, so my first step is sort of just cleaning off the blade. And I do that by putting it flat on the stone and rubbing it around in circles. I try to keep an even pressure on the whole blade. And I just do that enough. And then I do the other side for about the same amount. The second step is to sharpen your knife on the stone. Again, some people use diamond stones, some people use actual stones uh, like you get from the hardware store, and this is a ceramic stone. So I guess it's kind of in between those two um, as far as quality. And what I do is I start pulling the knife towards me, and then I pull it away from me. Uh, so I do the toward angle at about the height of a penny and I just pull it towards me three times and I make sure that I have to start at the bottom over here to make sure the whole knife gets sharpened and then I end at the tip of the knife. I guess that was four times but that's okay. As long as you do it an even number of times on each side you're fine. Uh, so then the next angle is about the height of a quarter and again I start at the base of the knife where the wood meets the metal and I go a little bit diagonally just to make sure that the entire knife hits the entire stone. Alright, and that's all you do for that one. The third step is to use the steel uh, to get it a little bit more honed and I, I do the same, I pull towards you first and then I do away and I do it at approximately the same angle. Usually I do it in my lap, but again for the sake of camera angles, and I usually do that four times. And I make sure that I get the whole blade, so I have to sort of swipe diagonally down. Alright, and normally after this I would use the honing seal, which is a bit shorter and it has a different um, texture of metal to get the knife really sharp and really um, fine so it won't pick off your tip of the reed, which I have a big problem with. But um, unfortunately, the honing steel in the reed room is missing. And I have just one more note about sharpening knives as a left-handed person. Uh, if you are left-handed and your teachers are right-handed, make sure that they know you're left-handed uh, because uh, knives for left-handed people have a different burr, which means uh, the knife edge is slanted a different way um, for left-handed people than it is for right-handed people. And if you're left-handed and you try to make reads with a knife that's sharpened for a right-handed person, then you're just going to get frustrated because the cane isn't going to come off the way it should. So just make sure that they know you're left-handed and your life will be much happier and your reads will be much better. Thank you for watching and tune in next week when I actually start scraping that read I made last week.